Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can download data from a table as a Excel file in Laravel. And I will show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So here you can see I have a table over here called user and I have a few data over here. Here you can see name, email and user type. So what I am going to do is that we are going to have a button over here and once you click that button, it will download the data from the database table as a Excel file or CSV file. Okay. So for it, we need to follow some step and I have write those step over here. We need to run some command in our project and those are this command composer required math website Excel, then vendor publish and we also need to mention the table name over here in order to export it certain data as a excel or csv file so here you can see i have a command over here composer required mad website excel so i'm going to copy this command and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to my project directory and i'm going to open a command prompt over here let me zoom in and here i'm going to paste the command which is composer required mad website slash excel so right now if i press enter it will start installing required packages for mad website so right now i will just fast forward the video and there you guess the package installation is complete so right now what we are going to do is that we need to run this second command and i will also give those three command in the comment section just check it out so let me just copy this command paste validation vendor publish provider matlab slash excel slash excel service provider tag config so i'll just copy this then go to my command prompt again then paste it over here and then press enter and there you can see this done so right now if we just go to our project then if we now go to our config and in the config you will find excel.php over here and you do not need to modify anything over here okay so we can just close this so after this what we need to do is that uh here uh, you can see that I want to create a Excel file for this user's table. And for the user's table, the model name over here, let me just show you. If we just go to the model for the user table, model name is user, right? So, right now, for it, what we need to do is that we need to run this command. Here you can see PS version make export. Then you need to write your model name. For my case, it is users and here we write over here model equal to user okay let's say your table name is post so write over here post and model name will be post okay so for my case it's called table user so i can just directly copy this from here and i will paste it in the common prompt over here and then press enter and there you go it is done so right now if i just go to my add inside app here you can see i have a export folder and inside export folder there you can see we have users export.php so let me just go to the uh, common prompt over here again and here you can see we write users export this is this one okay to minimize this and here you can see public function collection return users all and user model is also mentioned at the top and here you can see in this users export.php we are returning user all it is all the data from here so right now what we need to do is that we need to call this from our laravel project so what we need to do is that we are going to have a button over here in this welcome page and if someone click on that button it will call this function and this function will somehow download it as an excel file so i'll show you everything step by step so right now what i'll do is that i'll go to resource then views and i'll go to welcome.net.php and i'm going to remove everything from here then i'm going to show what here simple html and then in the body i'm going to show what here uh, let's mention a center tag and in this tag we're going to mention an anchor tag let's show what here we are going to set download data and for this anchor tag 
let me just mention a bootstrap class and the class name will be ptn btn it will be primary primary let me set this and let me also get the bootstrap cdn link from here bootstrap cdn link i'll just directly copy it from here control c then paste it over here inside the head section then save it and after it right now if i just refresh over here then you can see we have a download data option over here so right now what we'll do is that when you click on this download data button it will download a excel file for this table called user so for it let's go back uh, so here in this welcome.play.php for this download data we are going to give in this href to second bracket then we're going to say what here url to first bracket to single quotation let's say the url level will be download just a random name so let me save this and let's go and create a route for this so we'll go to our routes then web.php let me go down and here we're going to say route our clone get to first bracket then to single position and we're going to say here download from here we will just call a function in the controller so let me mention over here the controller name which is from controller class comma let's say the function name will be export and that's all so right now let's go to our phone controller and create this function called export so i'll go to app then http controllers and here you can see phone controller let me go down and here i'm going to say public function export then to first bracket then to second graph and right now in this public function export we need to write some code but before that here at the top of our phone controller we need to add some line over here which i just write over here you can see in the controller add this so here we are mentioning that use app export backslash user export so let me just copy this and here I already mentioned the user model name at the top, so you also need to mention this as well. And after that, you just need to write this use app backslash export backslash user export, which is let me just show you where you can see add. Then we have export folder, and inside export, we have users export. Okay, so after this, what we need to do is that we need to copy those two lines from here, control C, and we'll paste it over here okay like this and i will also give this in the first comment just check it out so right now let's just go down we are ready to export our excel file so here in this two second bracket we are going to say return excel then now we'll call we saw our here download then to first bracket then we are going to mention our here new and here you can see user export we are going to mention this over here users export then we need to give a form over here then we just need to give a random name let's say the name will be users you can give anything over here but let's just go with user and after that we will say over here dot csv so we need to mention an extension over here so right now what will happen is that whenever someone click on this download button it will call this url download and this url will call our home controller export function and our home controller export function will read an excel and one more thing make sure to add those at the top and here it will return the excel here you can see download so what it, it will do is that it will uh, go to the here you can see gives us export it will go to the users export then see the condition over here here you can see users all so it will get all the user data and it will let the user download it as a excel file or as a dot csv file okay so right now let me just save it here and here and if we just refresh over here and then click on this download data button there you can see a csv file is exported and if we now open it there you can see where we're going to see the data over here here you can see name email and the user type over here and all the random data which is created at updated ad and the users avatar over here and let's say you only want to see the 
user name, email, and user type over here. So for it, what we can do is that let me just go to users export.php and we're going to serve one here public function headings headings then to first bracket then to double clone and I'm going to serve it here array and after this we click to second bracket over here then from here we're going to return a heading so here we're going to say return then to third bracket then to double quotation let's say we'll return the heading uh, let me just give the end capital name comma email email and also the user type email comma user type user type so we'll use those three as a heading and after that what we are going to do is that we on only this three heading so in the user table to stop user all we need to show what here user select then to first bracket then to single position and here or towel position so here we say name and let me just show you we need to write this exactly we have in the database table so let me just show you here we have name email and user type so we are going to send a name comma email then comma db user type and after that we saw our here get so it will get all the data from the database taken and it will get the name email and user type over here okay so right now if we just say this and we also need to do one more thing is that we are trying to use heading so we also need to add a matlab function over here at the top so right now let me just copy this and i'll paste it over here and i'm going to solve over here with headings headings like this and after keeping the with heading we also need to mention this with heading over here with this class so we'll keep a comma over here then we'll solve it here with headings so right now let's save it and uh, okay so over here you can see headings so it will be single clone over here okay not double so let me save it here let's go back to our browser let's refresh and right now if i click on download data there you can see a csv file is downloaded and if we open it and there you can see it is only showing the name email and the user type there you can see at the heading you can see name email and user type and you can see user type user admin user user admin let's say you want to show only the user type user data over here not the admin data you can do that as well so for it all you need to do is that instead of get you need to show over here where we keep to single quotation then we are going to show over here user type comma user type is user so it will check the user type in the user table over here and it will only get the data for the user type user from here okay and after it, we'll just show it here. This arrow sign, get it. Save. Then let me just refresh over here. Click on download data button. And here you can see we have the name, email, and the user type is only user over here. So this will download a dot csv file. But if you want to download only Excel file, then for it, what you need to do is that uh, we'll go to our home controller, and here you can see user users.csv so you stop this we need to show here excel x s and after it we need to give a comma over here then we need to say over here excel excel double clone excel x s only this so if you just write this then it will download the file as a dot excel file not csv excel uh, s h and it will also be excel sx let me save it over here and let's go back to our browser let me refresh and right now if i click on download data there you can see file type is excel ss it means this is a excel data and if we open it so we are about to see the name email and user type 
over here and this is a excel file so you can just uh, here you can see the header name email user type you can change it to anything you can say over here stop name you can just say over here uh, stop name you can say username as well that will work as well let me just show you here you can see the header is user type so this is how you can export the data from database table in laravel as a excel file or csv file i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and you can also check out the video on the screen thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials